I am so excited because I just got my hands on the brand new Mono PD400X USB XLR dynamic microphone. And if you're a content creator who wants broadcast quality audio that won't break the bank, then stick around because in this video, I'm gonna explore everything that this mic can do and show you something that I've never seen before from a microphone like this. Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use the brand new Mono PD400X USB XLR dynamic microphone. And if you're a podcaster, a streamer, a gamer, a YouTuber, or just an individual content creator, then this video is for you because not only will I walk you through the setup process, but I'll also go over all the features that are important to me as a content creator, and I'll give you my honest review of the mic as well. Now, real quick, before we dive in, I wanna welcome you to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am so glad you found me. Here you're gonna find step-by-step -step tutorials and reviews, all aimed to help people build, grow, and monetize their blogs and websites. And if you find this video helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it also allows you to stay up to date with all the videos that come out in the future. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, without further ado, let's dive in and take a closer look at this microphone and see what it can do. So a huge shout out and thank you to Mono for sending me this mic. To be completely transparent, I had never heard of their company until they reached out and asked me to test and review the PD400X. But I have to say, I am so glad they did because spoiler alert, I'm a huge fan of what they're doing and I absolutely love the professional audio products that they create. One being this mic right here. And taking a closer look at the mic itself, out of the box, you're gonna get the instruction manual, obviously, a windscreen, which can also be used as a pop filter, a solid metal desktop stand. You also get two cables, one being a USB-C to USB-A cable and an XLR cable, and the PD400X dynamic microphone, which comes in this matte black finish and has a very sturdy and solid professional build. And then not shown here, you also get access to the Monolink software, which is like your own advanced audio processing software that we'll go over in just a few minutes. Finally, this mic comes with a one-year warranty, so rest assured that you're covered for one year if anything should happen to the mic. I also wanna point out that I'm recording all of the audio in this video using this mic, so you'll get an idea of the quality of sound that this dynamic microphone can produce. Now, the retail price point for the Mono PD400X is $169, which is pretty standard, but still very affordable considering the high quality sound it produces. So $169 is a deal in my opinion. All right, moving on to the mic setup, which is super easy. And regardless of how your audio workflow is designed, you can begin recording almost immediately. And for the first example, I'm gonna use the mic as a desktop mic. So I'll attach the stand that it came with, which uses a 5.8 screw, but one really convenient feature of this mic is that it has a 3 8 and 5 8 thread. So that means you won't need an adapter to attach this mic to other boom arms or stands. Now, as you can see in this second example, I've attached the mic to this boom arm that uses a 3 8 screw. So again, I don't need an adapter to make this mic work with other arms or stands. It's super convenient. Moving on to the back of the mic, you'll see that the PD400X is a dual mode USB XLR microphone. And this was a huge selling point to me because this means that you can plug it directly into your PC or Mac by using the USB-C port, or you can plug it into an audio interface or mixer by using the XLR input. Either way, the dual USB XLR inputs expand your connectivity and open up more possibilities when it comes to your audio workflow. I should also point out that you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that allows you to plug your headphones in directly to the mic and monitor your recording in real time. Next, I'm gonna be plugging directly into my MacBook Pro. So I'll use the USB-C cable that came with the mic and plug that into the USB-C port on the back of the mic. And speaking of plugging it in, the USB-C output makes it compatible with desktop computers, laptops, and mobile devices. And I can't stress enough the ease of use that comes with just plugging this mic in and then instantly upgrading the quality of your audio. Next, it's time to plug into my MacBook Pro. And if you recall, the cable that came with this mic is a USB-C to USB-A. And I'm using a 2021 M1 Max MacBook Pro. So all the ports are made for a USB-C cable. 
So I'll need to use a USB-C to USB adapter in order for Mono's cable to connect to my computer. It only cost me about $20 and all you do is connect the two and you're ready to go. Then simply plug the USB-C cable into your computer like so and there's no driver installation or sound cards required. The plug and play feature lets you start recording studio class audio as soon as everything is connected. And in terms of the quality of the audio, this mic uses a cardioid polar pattern, meaning it has a tighter acceptance angle and then it's gonna block out all the noise going on around it. This gives you directional input that makes your voice front and center while producing a clean and natural sounding voice as well. All right, next let's go over the button functions on this mic. If we take a look at the back of the mic again, you'll see a small circular button towards the bottom there. That is your EQ adjustment. And pressing this lets you cycle through the different functions and configure the EQ to your liking. And you can tell which EQ function you've selected when the green light indicator is on. The first light is flat EQ. Then pressing the button again, you'll get the middle light, which is the high pass filter. Then the third light is the presence boost. And finally, the two lights lit up together is HPF and Presence Boost. I love this EQ adjustment feature because it lets you quickly configure your sound in real time. So instead of having to mess with the audio settings in post-production, you can easily adjust the EQ here on the mic with a few clicks of this button. Moving on to the dial, which is located on the top side of the mic. And this is what Mono refers to as the smart knob. And the reason for that is this little knob controls three important modes all from one place. You can control the microphone gain, the headphone volume, and the monitor mix all from this knob. Now by default the mic is in mode 1 which controls your gain and as you turn the knob you'll see this white LED light up showing you the gain level that you're setting. Then when you talk in the mic you'll see your actual levels light up in green, yellow, and red. Then to switch modes, simply hold the knob for one second and you can cycle through the other two modes which are headphone volume and then headphone volume and mic gain combined. Next is another feature that I have never seen on a mic and that is the mute button. Now you're probably saying, Ben, there are plenty of mics that have mute buttons and yes, that's true, but I've never seen a mute button that can be controlled by just a tap. Typically, you have to press a knob or click a button, which usually causes a clicking sound. This added sound can interfere with the recording and add extra work to your post-production if you're having to edit out all the click sounds coming from the mute button. However, Mono has solved that issue with the silent touch mute button. All you have to do is literally tap the green mic icon on the top of your mic, and when it turns red, you have muted the mic. The tap feature gives you an almost stealth way to mute your mic so that you're not fumbling around with a knob or clicking a button in order to mute your mic. With this silent operation tap feature, you just touch the icon and you can mute and unmute your recording without interfering with unwanted sounds. All right, now that we're all set up and connected, I wanna show you the feature that I mentioned earlier in the video as something I've never seen before. And that's the free mono link software, which is like your own advanced audio processing software. So once you've connected the mic to your computer, I highly recommend downloading and using the Mono Link app on your desktop. I've put a link to it in the video description below, but this free software is a game changer and can help you quickly and easily dial in your sound for any project that you're working on. It's available for both Windows 7 or later and Mac OS 10.14 or later. And all you do is after installing it, open the app and it will automatically connect to the PD400X and give you access to the additional settings. I should also point out that after connected, the settings are synced in real time between your mic and the app. I love this interface because it makes audio engineering less intimidating and allows even the most novice content creator to record broadcast quality sound. So that being said, let's take a closer look at the Mono Link app. Okay, if you look in the upper left corner of the app, you'll see that they've broken it down into two sections, standard and advanced. We're currently on the standard settings, which is on the left-hand side of the screen. And the first thing we have here is the level of your mic's audio. You can see it in the green there as you talk. Then if you click the mic icon, you can mute and unmute your audio here from the app. Below that, we have the headphone volume. And this is pretty straightforward, but adjusting this lever will increase or decrease the volume of the audio in your headphones if you have them plugged into your mic. Next is the monitor mix, 
and this lets you adjust the amount of audio that is going to your mic and desktop, sliding it back and forth like so. Then we have the tone, and by default it starts you out as natural, but you can cycle through deep, bright, and legacy, giving you some flexibility and creative control over the tone of your audio. Next, and this is really cool, is the distance regulator. This allows you to set the recording sensitivity based off of how far you or your subject are away from the mic. And cycling through near, mid, and far, you'll be able to set the appropriate distance so that you aren't having to constantly change your position or edit the levels in post-production. This feature really saves you a ton of time and will help your recording sound more professional. Moving on to the advanced section. So go ahead and click advanced in the upper left corner of the app. And you'll notice that the first three settings are the exact same as the standard. You have the mic levels and mute, headphone volume, and monitor mix. But then below that are the more advanced settings. First are the EQ settings. And these are the exact same as on the back of the mic. But instead of having to physically click the button on the mic, you can cycle through the different EQ settings here within the app. Below that is the gain. And simply drag the lever to set your gain. Pretty straightforward. And finally, we have the limiter and compressor. And by default, they aren't active, but to turn them on and adjust them, simply click the boxes like so. Then once they're turned on, to get really advanced, click either one of those three dots, and you'll be presented with even more settings that you can dial in and configure. Then after you're done making your changes, click the confirm button, and you're all set. The mono link is by far one of my favorite features of this mic, and I honestly can't believe it's free. This intuitive set of audio settings is like having your own personal audio engineer. I absolutely love this feature. Finally, let me show you how you can get your hands on the PD400X. So as I'm recording this video, which is September 7th, 2022, the Mano PD400X is still in production, but you can pre-order it by visiting the link in the video description below. And Mano has told me that pre-orders will start going out in October. So be sure to put your pre-order in for only $169 to ensure that you'll be first in line to get this amazing new mic. So my final thoughts on this mic, I was actually super impressed with what this microphone could do. The dual mode connectivity gives you the flexibility to connect directly to a laptop with the USB-C port or into an audio interface or mixer with the XLR input. Also I think for $169 the sound quality is great and it holds up against my other mics that I spent a lot more money on. Plus the Mono Link app is a game changer, it gives you even more control over your sound which is a huge bonus in my opinion. Don't just take my word for it. This mic actually started out as a Kickstarter, but was backed by over 520 people who pledged over $86,000 to help bring this project to life. Needless to say, it's a popular mic and people believe in Mono's products. So if you're a content creator and you wanna have that studio quality audio that won't break the bank, then I highly recommend the Mono PD400X. You not only get great sound, but you're gonna get the Mono Link as well, which will help you take your content's audio to the next level. And like I said, I am now a huge fan of Mono and I can't wait to use this mic on my next project. So all in all, I highly recommend that you check this mic out. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.